Ever since Tesla's early days, there has been a promise in the air to make electric mobility accessible to everyone. For a long time, this goal seemed like a distant dream. However, with the arrival of the Model Q, this ambition may finally be on the verge of becoming a reality. Offering an affordable electric car has always been one of Elon Musk's central goals, and he has made no secret of his intention to transform the automotive market forever. What once sounded like an unattainable luxury is quickly becoming a reality. The Model Q promises to be a game-changer in the automotive industry. It will be built with a new generation of more modern and efficient production technologies capable of reducing costs and speeding up the manufacturing process. Unlike previous models, this Tesla will be developed on an entirely new platform, designed to be more economical and optimized. The combination of innovative engineering and advanced assembly methods could allow this model to be produced at a much lower cost than the brand's current vehicles. For the first time, a Tesla will be able to compete directly with the world's best-selling combustion cars. To make this project viable, Tesla is betting on large-scale production, and the choice of the Gigafactory in Mexico as the starting point was no coincidence. This new production facility will be essential to achieve unprecedented manufacturing volume for the company, in addition to significantly reducing logistics costs to serve both the North American and Latin American markets. With a skilled workforce and strategic tax incentives, Mexico presents itself as an ideal location to boost the launch of the Model Q on a global scale. The most interesting thing is that the Model Q will not be exclusive to a single region. Tesla has already made it clear that its plan is to launch this vehicle worldwide, with prices adapted to the economic realities of each country. If this strategy is well executed, the company could achieve a historic feat, making electric vehicles truly popular and forcing competitors to adapt quickly. The secret behind this revolution lies in production efficiency. Elon Musk has always emphasized that Tesla's future involves a leaner production model, with fewer parts and drastically shorter assembly times. The Model Q could be a reflection of this vision, ushering in a new phase in the industry, where manufacturing an affordable electric car will no longer be a utopia, but a real and viable plan. Another highly anticipated point is the impact that this vehicle could have on the market. If the launch really happens with a price below $25,000 or even a round of $15,179 with tax incentives in the U.S., many combustion cars, especially compact ones, could simply become obsolete. For those who always dreamed of owning a Tesla but couldn't afford the models available, this will be a great chance to enter the electric era once and for all. While Tesla is known for its technological innovation, this time the strategy goes beyond technical advances. The Model Q was designed with efficiency in mind, from design to mass production. Rather than creating something completely new from scratch, Tesla chose to build on the tried and tested Model 3 foundation to speed up development and keep costs under control. This decision is essential to achieving the desired competitive price point. The project's internal name, Redwood, already gives clues as to what it intends to achieve. Strength, rapid growth, and solidity. Approximately 15% smaller than the Model 3, the Model Q will be compact, ideal for everyday urban life, without sacrificing autonomy and high technology. This reduced size puts it directly in competition with already established models, such as the Mini Cooper Electric and the Toyota Yaris Hybrid, both popular in the compact segment. One of the Model Q's main distinguishing features is its lightness. Tesla is investing heavily in structural optimization, with the goal of reducing the weight by up to 30% compared to the Model 3, which could result in a vehicle weighing around 1,150 kiloer. This reduction not only reduces the cost of materials, but also significantly improves the car's energy efficiency. A lighter car requires less battery power to travel long distances, a key factor in maintaining autonomy without increasing the price of the product. In addition, a smaller, lighter vehicle provides more agile and enjoyable driving, an attraction for urban consumers looking for practicality, performance, and economy in the same package. Driving on busy city streets tends to be a lot easier in a nimble, compact car, and the Model Q seems to be made for just that. Anyone who's driven a Tesla knows how addictive the vehicle's immediate throttle response and precise control can be. If Tesla can preserve this defining characteristic in the Model Q, it could easily become one of the most fun compact cars to drive. The design also promises to surprise. Those expecting a basic look may end up being mistaken. 
If Tesla follows the same aesthetic line as the recent Model 3 Highland and the future Model Y Juniper, the Model Q should present a futuristic, clean, and extremely aerodynamic look. And this factor is not just aesthetic. A good drag coefficient directly contributes to the vehicle's autonomy as it reduces energy consumption at high speeds. If the Model Q achieves a drag coefficient of 0.23, similar to that of the Model 3, it will have an advantage over rivals such as the Toyota Yaris Hybrid, which registers around 0.29. Another important differentiator for the Model Q is its adaptation to different global markets. In regions like Europe and Asia, where streets are narrower and parking spaces are at a premium, compact cars are highly valued. This could give Tesla a strategic advantage in these markets, including against giants like Volkswagen, Toyota, and Honda, which traditionally dominate this segment. Even though it is a more affordable model, Tesla does not intend to compromise on performance and technology. The Model Q should be the cheapest Tesla ever produced, but it will still maintain the brand's standards in terms of innovation and efficiency. One of the company's bets to achieve this balance between cost and performance is the use of lithium iron phosphate, LFP, batteries. Cheaper, more durable, and without the need for rare metals, these batteries help to reduce the final price of the vehicle without compromising its quality. The Model Q is expected to be offered with two battery options. The base version would feature a 53 kWh pack with an estimated range of up to 500 km in optimized cycles. A more powerful version, with all-wheel drive, AWD, and a 75 kWh battery, could offer around 450 km of range, catering to drivers who demand more performance and versatility. These numbers put the Model Q ahead of competitors such as the Chevrolet Equinox EV, which offers around 400 km, or the Volkswagen ID3, with up to 420 km. Another technological highlight of the Model Q will be its new autonomous driving hardware, the HW5. With a 3 nanometer chip, this technology will allow for much more efficient data processing, taking the autonomous driving experience to a new level, even in an entry-level car. This means that, even though it is a cheaper Tesla, it will offer superior assisted driving capabilities than those offered by similarly priced vehicles. For those who dream of a nearly autonomous car, this could be the ideal opportunity. And make no mistake, the Model Q's performance is also impressive. Even though it's an affordable compact, it promises exciting acceleration. The rear-wheel drive, RWD version, should go from 0 to 100 kmh in around 6.5 to 7 seconds, beating many cars in the same category. The AWD version, even more powerful, will be able to do this time in less than 5 seconds, rivaling much more expensive models such as the Hyundai Ioniq 5. The driving experience promises to be engaging and fun. Tesla is also unlikely to skimp on aerodynamics. Following the evolution of the recent Model 3 and Y, the Model Q will be optimized to achieve the lowest possible drag. This means that even with smaller batteries, it could become one of the most efficient electric cars available. The key is to achieve long ranges without relying on larger and heavier batteries, which, in turn, helps keep costs under control. Speaking of weight, the Model Q will be one of Tesla's lightest models, expected to weigh around 1,150 kilos. This represents a significant advantage not only for range, but also for handling. A lighter car requires less energy to accelerate, decelerate, and maneuver, which makes driving smoother, more natural, and more economical. One of the biggest obstacles to mass adoption of electric vehicles has always been price. But what if a Tesla cost less than many popular combustion-powered cars? That's exactly what the Model Q is all about. Tesla isn't just launching another car. It's trying to reinvent affordability in the electric market. With a target price of under $25,000, and with tax incentives that could bring that price down to around $15,779 in the U.S., the Model Q could be the first truly mainstream EV ever. To understand the impact of this, just look at the competition. The Chevrolet Equinox EV starts at $28,000 with incentives, while the Volkswagen ID3 tops out at $38,000 in Europe. Chinese models like the BYD Dolphin range from $20,000 to $30,000, depending on the model. If Tesla can truly keep the Model Q within its promised range, it could become the most affordable and technologically advanced electric car in its class.
But how can such an aggressive price be achieved without compromising quality? The answer lies in mass production and structural cost reductions. The use of cheaper and more durable LFP batteries eliminates the need for expensive metals such as nickel and cobalt. In addition, Tesla is continually improving its assembly line to make it more efficient and lean, which helps reduce costs per unit manufactured. One of the big keys to the Model Q's success lies in the way it will be manufactured. By simplifying the vehicle's construction and adopting advanced technologies such as Giga Casting, which allows large parts of the car's structure to be molded in a single process, Tesla is able to significantly reduce production time, as well as cut labor and logistics costs. Another smart move by the company could be selling optional features through software updates. The base Model Q, for example, could be offered without full self-driving FSD technology, allowing users to activate the feature at a later date for a fee. This would allow Tesla to keep the initial price more affordable while still generating recurring revenue over time, something it already does with the brand's more expensive models. Range will also be a crucial point in the Model Q's value proposition. The version with a 53 kilowatt battery will be able to offer around 500 kilometer of range, surpassing direct competitors such as the Hyundai Kona Electric, 415 km, and the Kia Niro EV, 385 km. The all-wheel drive, AWD version, which will have a slightly shorter range, should still reach around 450 km, and with the added benefit of access to Tesla's supercharger network, recognized as being one of the fastest and most reliable in the world. Another factor that makes the Model Q even more attractive is its low-maintenance costs. Like all Tesla electric vehicles, it has far fewer moving parts than a combustion-powered car, which results in less wear and tear and fewer visits to the garage. For those who are used to the frequent costs of maintenance and oil changes, the idea of having a car that requires almost no maintenance can be decisive when it comes to buying. And one thing is certain, if the Model Q is launched with the promised specifications and competitive price, demand will be huge. But is Tesla ready to meet this demand on a large scale? After all, there is no point in creating a revolutionary car if production does not keep up with market interest. The good news is that the company already has a robust plan in place to ensure that the Model Q is manufactured in large quantities and distributed globally. The Texas Gigafactory will be a central part of this strategy, with a focus on mass production. The factory is already adopting extremely advanced methods such as Giga Casting which allows the creation of large components in cast aluminum in a single piece, which reduces assembly complexity and speeds up production. The goal is bold, to reach a production of 10,000 Model Q units per week by the end of 2025, which represents about 500,000 vehicles per year at this plant alone. But Tesla's plans go further. The factory in Berlin, Germany, will also play an important role. It will be responsible for supplying the European market with an expected production of 200,000 units per year. This will allow the company to deliver vehicles more quickly to the continent and reduce transportation costs and import taxes. Choosing Europe as one of the production bases makes sense, as the continent is one of the markets most open to electric vehicles, with demand for affordable models growing rapidly. In Asia, the production model is also consolidated. The Shanghai Gigafactory will continue to play a key role in ensuring the efficient distribution of Model Q throughout the region. This facility is expected to be responsible for another 100,000 units annually, ensuring competitive prices and a stable supply of components, thanks to its proximity to the main manufacturers of lithium iron phosphate, LFP batteries, a technology in which China is a world leader. That's where the Mexico plant comes in, a key component in serving the North American and Latin American markets. The strategic location will allow Tesla to significantly reduce production and distribution costs, as well as avoid import tariffs by shipping vehicles directly to the United States. This plant could be the final link that allows Tesla to reach its goal of manufacturing more than 1 million Model Q units per year in the coming years. If Tesla really delivers on its promises with this model, the electric car market could be transformed forever. We are talking about a vehicle capable of eliminating the main barriers that still prevent many people from migrating to electric mobility. Affordable price, good autonomy, large-scale production and cutting-edge technology, characteristics that are Tesla's trademark. The impact will be huge, both for consumers and for the industry as a whole. Traditional automakers like Volkswagen, Toyota, Ford, and General Motors 
will be forced to accelerate the launch of compact electric models that can compete with the Model Q. Until now, the affordable electric market has been dominated by a few players, and the arrival of this Tesla could completely change the game. Chinese companies like BYD have already been offering affordable electric models, such as the Dolphin, but Tesla's entry into the same price range completely changes the scenario. Elon Musk's automaker has a competitive advantage that no other can match. A globally consolidated charging infrastructure and a very strong reputation in the technology sector. The arrival of the Model Q could accelerate the decline of combustion-powered cars in the entry-level segment. Until now, many consumers still opted for gasoline-powered vehicles simply because electric vehicles were considered too expensive. However, with the possibility of purchasing a Tesla for less than $25,000 or up to around $15,179 with tax incentives, electric vehicles are becoming a real option for a much wider audience. The argument that EVs are unaffordable may finally no longer make sense, and the impact could be even greater. The Model Q has the potential to trigger a domino effect in the automotive market. An efficient and affordable Tesla will force its competitors to rethink their prices to stay competitive. This should pave the way for a widespread adoption of electric vehicles, accelerating the transition of the automotive industry and forcing an even faster pace of innovation from traditional automakers. What we are about to witness could be as revolutionary as what happened with the launch of the Model S, and later, the Model 3. Creating an affordable car is already a huge challenge. Producing it at scale while maintaining quality and delivery times is even more challenging. However, Tesla appears to be prepared. Not only will the Model Q be one of the cheapest EVs on the market, it's also set to become one of the most produced models in the company's history. To that end, Tesla is implementing a robust manufacturing infrastructure across multiple gigafactories around the world. The centerpiece of this operation will be the Texas Gigafactory, one of the automaker's most advanced facilities. Designed from the ground up to support high-volume production, the factory will utilize cutting-edge techniques such as gigacasting, which allows large car components to be manufactured in a single piece drastically reducing the number of parts required, streamlining assembly, and lowering costs. The goal is clear. By the end of 2025, the Texas factory should be producing around 10,000 Model Qs per week, totaling half a million cars per year. But this will not be the only production line. The Gigafactory in Berlin will also play a strategic role, being responsible for serving the European market. The demand for affordable electric vehicles on the continent is growing rapidly and to avoid high import costs, it makes perfect sense to maintain a local production line. The factory is expected to produce around 200,000 units per year, supplying markets such as Germany, France, the United Kingdom, and other countries with high consumption potential. In Asia, production will be led by the Shanghai Gigafactory, which will ensure the supply of vehicles to countries such as China, Japan, and South Korea.